let another meal go cold if our next inventor has his say with his self-heating crockery. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Champkins. Despite using existing patented technology as part of his invention, Mark has absolute confidence in his self-heating crockery. You all right? You've damaged your arm there by the look of it. What have you done? Yeah, I've just had an operation on my shoulder. To, I dislocated it about two years ago, and I've had an operation to tighten it up. OK, well, uh, best of luck with the old recovery. OK, now, today you're going to meet our product champion. What would you like him to say to you? I'd like him to give me lots of money and, uh, <laughs> and help me out in general, really. I'd like that too, please. please. Lots of money. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Emmanuel. John likes this idea, but he'll only take on the invention if he can be convinced there's something original about it. Are you settled? Yes, thank you. We want to make some money. Yes, I'm glad. So do you. I would like to make some money too. <laughs> so, uh, can we do it? All right, well, Mark, um, obvious reasons, self-heating crockery to keep food and drink warm. Yeah. What was it that gave you the idea in the first place? Well, I found um, some hand warmers in a camping shop um, and was fascinated by them. They're, Bit like this this is a business card i've made up since mm. but it contains the same chemical and if i just show you there's a disc in it which you activate the hand warmer so with hold it up and watch that and it, as it what happens is it starts off what looks like water in the bag and it crystallizes and as it crystallizes it gives off heat well i've adapted these and made up something that looks like this mm. and i should demonstrate really this is the plate contains one of these bags and then it has a Pyrex glass top surface and a plastic base. And the idea is, actually, if you could do it, mm -hmm. can you push the button in the middle? Yeah, that's it. You set it off. Should and we it, see the crystals Yeah, you cross. can see them growing yes, here. Growing. Ah. And so that's instant, that happens straight away, as it did with the, with the hand warmer that hand we had there. That's right, yep. The self-heating crockery consists of a normal plate with a plastic case fitted to the underside which contains the self-heating bags. When the trigger button is pressed, the fluid molecules are compressed and changed to a symmetrical crystalline structure. This releases heat energy as the bonds are formed, allowing neighbouring molecules to crystallise in a chain reaction, transferring much of the freed heat energy to the plate. When you developed this idea, did you see the pad as integral to the plate or as a, a separate thing? No, I did. To start with, I wanted to make a hollow plate and fill the plate up with the chemical mm -hmm. and yes. not use the bag. But there were several problems that I came across. Like firing it? Like, yep, yep, activating it. And also, um, it changes volume as it solidifies. And what happened was it actually cracked um, some test uh, prototypes that I made. Oh, you and can, you so can, you can take that so off. So you can take the base so off. So you can treat it as an add-on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you could just make and sell these things. Yeah, you could. Have you no idea what it would cost? Well, the bags themselves will be less than 50 pence to produce in volume. And then the base would just be injected, moulded plastic, I would guess. So Again, perhaps a, cheap. a pound? Perhaps like a that. pound, yeah, with a markup. Apparently, um, here's a fact for you, 45 million pounds worth of food was thrown away by the NHS last year alone by food that had, had gone cold. I did some tests with conventional plates, put them in the oven, heated them to the same temperature, 60 degrees, and let them cool. And this stayed warm for four times longer. How far have you got in terms of a, a patent? Is, is this, have, you, have you patented your idea? I have, yeah, I've patented my idea. You have, and has it been granted, or have you only just started well, to put that it's in? Well, it's pending. So pending. Then, yeah. Okay, well, can Very we, let's tell you, we've got um, Jeremy here. And before we go any further, let's uh, throw over to Jeremy now and see if he's found anything in his little computer system, have you? I have, Susie, yes. I've just found a French document from 1996 mm -hmm. which says there is a space between the two surfaces of the plate and in that space is sodium acetate trihydrate. Jeremy, can yeah. I ask you this? That's within the plate? Yes. The surface of the plate. Not a separate However, piece, not a separate, a separate not a piece. Se not a separate standalone. So it could well be the combination of those ideas, mm. but now we've got a French document that says it's known to use that reaction to heat plates. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. Well, it sounds like your add-on effect is going to be quite uh, paramount in the uh, pattern, yes. doesn't it? Yes, it, it sounds like a, a marginal improvement to me, mm. but I, one would need to talk to a patent agent, perhaps to Jeremy, at greater length to see what your inventive bit is. Just before it goes any further, will you take on Mark's idea? Yes, yes. However, 
I do need to check the patent situation, and there will be some development work necessary uh, so we can take it to a slightly better stage before we present it to people. Fantastic. On that basis, yes. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like Mark has got some great help there. Mark Champkins, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really pleased that he's taken it on. It's because I didn't think he would. It sounded as if he wouldn't. And then at the end, he sort of turned it around. So I'm pleased about that.